Hey everyone, welcome to another video of mine. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a bootable macOS High Sierra USB drive. I got here a um, brand new Patriot Glide 16GB USB 3.1. It's better if you use a 3.0 or 3.1, that way it will um, you know, perform faster read and write speeds. So overall your entire process will you know accelerate faster than USB 2.0. So uh, you can use any USB you want. This one is 16 gig, brand new, I got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. But um, before I do that, let's go over the steps uh, we need to do in order uh, to get our installation Mac of macOS High Sierra on that USB. So first of all, um, this is gonna be specifically for High Sierra. So we're going to go to the App Store and we're going to download a version, uh, download the High Sierra OS. So type in macOS High Sierra, there you have it, macOS High Sierra and just click download and then let it download. Once it's done we don't need to install it so we're gonna go here in the top bar and we're gonna click install macOS high sierra and then we're gonna quit all right we're gonna close this app store now it's it so we're gonna take our um, USB that we want to use and we're gonna insert it in the USB all right once that's done let's go back to our screen right here all right so once you got your usb in installed go to disk utility select your usb drive and erase it and where it says name type in my volume just like this my volume and everything leave it just like that and click erase the reason we're formatting it with that name because this command uses that name, my volume. You can just change instead of this, whatever is the name of your USB. But I had difficulties because if there is a, if your USB has a name, let's say Macintosh HD, then instead of that space between Macintosh and HD, uh, when you write it in this command, you have to use the opposite slash out. That's a slash out for space so I don't want to complicate I want to make it easier for you to do it so instead just it's standard this comma this command line is standard so just name your USB drive my volume so once you it's all changed to my volume open the terminal now I had an issue when I was copying this um, from Microsoft Word and for some reason it did not work but if you're gonna copy it from um, in the details down below you'll be able to just copy and paste and it will work or if it doesn't just type it in I know it's a little long but the easiest way copy it from my details or you can copy it from um, this web page I'll post it below so you're gonna co copy it or you can use command C you have to make sure you select it entirely and then go in the terminal and it's either you use um, two finger click and click paste. So there you go. It's pasted in the terminal and then click, I mean, hit enter. You will ask for your password and then click enter. And then it says ready to start to continue. Press uh, type Y, yes, and press enter. All right, so it's erasing the disk and then it will continue the, the process for creating that USB bootable with macOS High Sierra. So it will take a few minutes, five to 10 minutes, maybe faster. And once, it done, once it's done, we'll go from there.
All right, so it's done. Copy complete. Done. All right, now, um, oh, there it is here. All right, so like I said, the name that we put my volume, it changed by itself to install macOS High Sierra. All right, so now that we have it, so let's close this. Let's go here and click on this one. <clears throat> Get info. All right, so the total capacity is 15 gigabytes available 10. So like I said, you only need uh, a minimum of eight gigabytes USB drive because the only used is only 5.29 gigabytes so 8 gigabytes USB drive is more than enough for you so let's say you did um, you made this um, installation of macOS High Sierra on a USB right how are you gonna use it alright so the only reason you would use this is whether you need to access the recovery mode whether you can't access the recovery mode from your origin you know from the laptops SSD or you want to install a fresh copy of macOS High Sierra let me show you so in order uh, to access the installation of the macOS High Sierra from this drive um, I'm gonna show you how so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut down my laptop alright so the laptop is um, turned off right now you guys can see all right so in order to access the installation from this um, USB of macOS High Sierra you want to turn on the laptop right here on the right side so as soon as you turn it on you press it just press it one once for like two seconds right away you're gonna want to hold the option button down so I'm gonna turn it on and hold the option button well I, I guess there was no sound so this is your installation so just uh, tap on it and hit enter and then you let it load now another reason you would need this um, USB installation of macOS High Sierra on this drive is because if you're doing a time machine backup of your MacBook then you will want to have this um, installation on the USB of macOS High Sierra just in case let's say your laptop won't boot anymore or for whatever for whatever reason you can't access the recovery mode then you will use this um, USB drive installation to access the recovery mode and then in the recovery mode you'll be able to um, restore your MacBook from a time machine backup so you got here a few options uh, disk utility to manage your disks uh, inst install a fresh um, Mac OS High Sierra copy or restore from time machine so this is what I was talking about is especially when things go wrong or you change your SSD there is nothing to um, boot this recovery mode so you'll need this um, USB whether you want to install whether you want to erase something whether you want to restore from time machine restoring from time machine is very easy a quick another quick tip I'm using this um, SSD this is a regular 2.5 inch SATA SSD that I'm connecting to USB 3.0 so I'm using this every week to use the t to backup using time machine so this one contains a time machine backup of my laptop and I do it every week thank you guys for watching my video I hope um, this will help you with your uh, problems and please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet thank you so much